Does the thought of resetting your exercise and nutritional habits feel overwhelming? I mean, we just came off of the summer here at the Jersey Shore, and I don't know where you live, but there is a lot of extra, extra food, extra barbecues, uh, extra drinking. And sometimes, I know for myself, I come into September and I'm like, whew, I need a little bit of a detox. Can you relate? Hey friends, Jen here from the Oxygen Podcast, Navigating Life, breaking those old chains of self-doubt, limiting belief, bad habit patterns, diet and exercise, as well as those nasty thoughts that creep into our head. On today's podcast, I want to talk about easy steps to resetting our exercise and nutritional habits. I mean, it's so easy that there's not this overwhelm. There is a lot of information out there. And I know for me, when I start something new, sometimes it gets a little overwhelming unless I'm guided or unless I have a go-to plan. So I want to really just break it all down and give you an easy step-by-step plan to get you back on track if you kind of veered off that healthy habits track. And listen, if you did, it's okay. The first thing, actually my first tip I want to share is letting go of guilt, letting go of regret, and letting go of this self-sabotaging thought system. I know for me, I used to do that all the time. If I went off my uh, nutritional habits and I had like pizza and ice cream, there would be this guilt around it. And so not only was there this guilt, then I, w- I felt bad about it. And it, that just totally discounts everything. So if you did just enjoy your food or if you ate it, just enjoy it. Whatever you're eating, the idea is to enjoy it. Take your time and really sit with your food, where it came from, how it got to your plate. I know for me, I really appreciate the summer because a lot of my vegetables come right from my garden. So I'm always so happy when I run downstairs and I bring up fresh veggies that I'm going to put on my plate. It becomes an experience. My first, my first tip on getting on track is to slow down. Take a moment to appreciate the food and to look at the food for what it actually is. It's nutrition, it's resources, it's replenishing your body, it's fueling your body so your body can carry you throughout the day. And so that is the physical aspect. When we then add guilt or shame or whatever emotion around what we just ate, then we're now we're clouding our brain. So not only are we you know, eating something that maybe wasn't the best for us, but now we're also putting those thoughts in our head. So it's this feeling in our body and our thoughts in our head that are polluting us physically and mentally. So that is my number one tip, okay? If you are eating something and it's ice cream, listen, I am not going to lie. If you know me, I love chip witches, especially homemade chip witches from my brother-in-law. He made them this weekend. I did not overindulge. I had half a one and I did not take any home. That is the clue. Do not keep food in your house that will tempt you. That is tip number two on this journey back to our healthy habits. I told you I was going to keep it really simple because simplicity is really the key to maintaining those changes. It's simplicity simple with consistency. Okay, so here we have it. We're back on our track and our healthy habits. Number one is taking time to appreciate our foods. Number two, let go of any mental anguish. Enjoy the foods. I thoroughly enjoyed my chip witch this past weekend. It was delicious. Enjoy your foods. Number three around foods. This I started years ago. Size matters. 100% it matters. (laughs) I'm talking plate size, people. Stay with me. This is a salad plate, and then this is a dinner plate. So they're like clearly two different sizes. Years ago, I switched to eating my dinner on a smaller plate. Now, why do we do that? When we have a bigger plate, the tendency is to fill the plate, right? That's okay. If I fill this plate with foods, or let's just say, foods that are not the best for me, it's gonna be like double to triple the calories if I just simply switch to a smaller plate. So if you're like, I'm not ready to give up my pasta, it's okay. I eat pasta from time to time, but instead of using a big plate or a big old bowl, 
Use a smaller bowl. And here's the other thing, look at serving sizes. We often don't realize how much food we're actually eating. I had a client come to me a couple years ago talking about foods. And all we did, all I had her do is look at the serving size and just make sure you're eating the serving size. That is all she did. And she lost weight. Now, she didn't change anything she was eating. She just changed the size, the serving size. So that's my other tip. And as far as exercise, start with five minutes. I know you might be like, John, five minutes is not going to do anything for me. It is going to do something for you. It's going to get you in the habit of making a commitment to physically move your body for five minutes. Start with five minutes. Put it in your calendar. Write down what activity you're going to do, what time you're doing, set an alarm in your phone and move your body. Get in the habit of actually moving your body for five minutes. Do it for a week or two and then slowly minute by minute start to increase it. I mean, is that a lot of time if we think about it? It's only five minutes. Five minutes of movement plus awareness of what you're eating and you're gonna see change. There's no way you can't see change. You do that for a week and let me know how you're doing. I would love to know. I love doing these short shares or reminders for me too. I mean, I could easily overeat my chip witches, I'm just saying, and yes, I do love them. But the idea is if you like something, don't deprive yourself. Just have a smaller size. Cut it in half. We go out to dinner, uh, I don't want to say a lot, but when we go out with clients, my husband and I, they we go to nice restaurants. There's tons of desserts. They look amazing. And I'm not going to lie. I appreciate what people put into foods, the beauty, the time. And so I will. They'll all order their desserts, and I will take a spoonful to taste and appreciate. I don't need my own dessert. I will sample a little. That is the key to success, not depriving ourselves. When you have foods, take the time to sit with your foods, appreciate your foods, look at the size of the plate, look at the serving size, really start to read labels. You're not not doing anything crazy in your diet. It's simply turning a package around before you put it in your mouth. It's choosing that smaller plate. It's moving your body five minutes. I promise you, you do those things, those three things, move your body, awareness around your food, and making the mental connection and appreciation. So you're practicing appreciation, you're practicing awareness in your foods, and then you're also moving your body. Those are the three key elements to success in life. If you wanna learn more, message me, I am here for you. Again, short and sweet, I hope you have an amazing day. If you wanna go deeper on how to reset your habits, Mark your calendar, September 26th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard. I am hosting a free masterclass on just that, how to reset your habits and routines. If you can't make the class, still register. I'll send you the replay. Plus, you're getting a free bonus, a free jumpstart to change for everybody who attends. It's a beautiful guide to get you started. But you do those three items, and I guarantee you will feel a difference. But here's the thing. You have to do the work. All right, have a fantastic day and I'll catch you soon.